stuff. And we're just gonna hope for the best, okay? There's nothing we can do, it's hot and we're in Texas. One of these times you guys are gonna come on and we're gonna be like, it's 62, it's July, and there's nothing we can do because it's just yucky here in Michigan. And then I'm gonna be like, oh my God, if only we were in Texas. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, L I'm gonna start you guys with me, but then um, Joe's gonna take over because we're gonna kind of do two things at once. Two. So I am doing what I started thinking I wanted to do. Well, I won't do it. I wanted to do the rest of them. Because what if we really, I mean, then I go, oh, if they're high in carbs, although we can't. Right, right, you know right. what I mean? So right. I'm only going to prep. We are having asparagus tips as our side. Hello, my Berkey. Hey, you guys. Hey, cheese. We're having asparagus tips and pork steaks. Steaks are going to be on the grill. I'm doing um, my stuff on the stove. So I am going to do, I'm going to do... Are you ready to show them some spices? Uh, yes. Okay, then I will show them my stem back to fly. No, we are doing this the way we want to start doing it. We're going to start <laughs> taking our time cooking with you guys. We're not going to have everything ready anymore. I just feel like it's so unfair that we just have things ready and we cook. And then we're just like not really with you guys. So, hello, my Kimmy love, my darling. Can one of you, um, one of the mods drop my email? I'm trying to remember the campground that uh, Angelo had said, and I cannot remember it for the life of me. And I can't even remember the stream it was in. I've gone through four streams and I just can't find it. So, my darling, I know that you were in here while we were talking. I'm sorry, baby, go ahead. <laughs> sorry. Welcome everybody. We are doing, tonight is gonna be, a, I don't even know how many carbs, but the asparagus are the only things that will have the carbs tonight. Pork does not, seasonings do not, that he's using on that. We're putting the same barbecue sauce, except for it's gonna be the spicy one. And that is gonna be, hello, my spark plug. Um, two tablespoons is uh, two. Yeah, carbs. we'll probably use a good two, two two tablespoons, I think, though, with the steak. We'll start with two. And then we'll, we'll so we'll that is the, it. and the asparagus. We're doing just the tips of the asparagus. Well, mainly because I saw a recipe of asparagus tips. I didn't start eating asparagus or Brussels sprouts until the last eight, about a, a year, not oh, a little younger than a year. So it was about nine months, 10 months ago, I started eating like asparagus and Brussels sprouts and all the goodies. So that's why we're doing them. T-Berry, shine, oh my gosh, a lot of you guys are in here. Um, I did not, I, my procedures are rough. Like I get um, bruises on my neck, bruises on my arm. They just have a hard time finding my vein always. And um, the, I let me just tell you a real quick story. This is what happened. Are you going to the cupboard? <laughs> Shut up, yes. So the they did one right here, and it took about five minutes. They, this is actually two and three. They did one there first. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Well, they put the tape on. I went to the back room. I started taking my, my sleeve out. And they went on that one because my vein is so close to the top. And it was five minutes but they still they were able to find it okay i start taking my sleeve out like this of my shirt and then i kind of just felt something i didn't know so i pushed my arm like and then i looked down and i i know i'm 50 years old you guys i have never felt warm blood pouring out i'm sorry a trigger warning i don't mean this to freak anybody out it was like pouring off my arm and I looked down and I saw my my thing sticking out like that so I went to grab it yes initial reaction I was gonna shove it back in the hole and I was like went to grab I go uh I was the doctor and the nurse were in there and I said am I uh and they turned around to hear what I was gonna say and I was getting ready to say, am I supposed to do this or should I do this? So I didn't know that I wasn't, uh, not, I knew that I wasn't supposed to. I panicked, I guess I want to say. I saw it and I wanted to shove it back in the hole that they had just found because I felt horrible that they had, they, I felt horrible. So right when I'm getting ready, they heard me talking. And by now my whole arm is dry, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. The end of that, they had to do it all over again. 
They had to do an ultrasound to find it. They went from my wrist. So by my own doing, I need to wear a different shirt or a jacket or something that I'm not, I don't go in there sleeveless. I go in there covered up. I don't go anywhere and I just don't. So I always go with a tank top so they can do this procedure. And I, the most freakish thing happened to me. And so I was bedridden yesterday, today, and I'm barely getting moving around. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. At least I have my voice. That's the only good thing is last week I didn't have a voice for a couple of days. Today I have a voice. It just, it does a lot for me. I know obviously probably my weight, I put it, wouldn't be so painful or so bad if I was a, a thinner or lighter in weight, but they do anesthetically put me down. They put beeper all, all done up. So it is kind of a, a, a big procedure that they go through. I can't eat anything from nine or 10 at night before. I have to stop drinking water six hours before. They're very, very strict on their rule, what I can and can't do. And it's my life. <laughs> I've got a grandson that's waiting on me. So I am gonna, I'm gonna describe what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna let Joe take over so you guys can get going with the spices. He can get that on the grill. I am gonna render my fat. And I, don't, I want you guys to see that because I did started doing this about uh, three times ago. So it was new to me. I had just, did I see somebody put a bacon? Cause we have a song for that. We have a whole song for that. Hold on guys. So um, I'm gonna put diced onions, but my bacon is gonna be the part that's different. My little asparagus. Okay guys, I'm gonna get started cause I think Joe's busy. Are you doing something baby? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yo, I know, I know. The It's got a lot of cooking on it. So what we decided, I was talking to a couple of my mods, is I really enjoy you guys being here. I enjoy my mods being in here. I feel like me and Joe have really um, dropped the ball as creators uh, by not being as attentive as we could be for you guys. And a lot of it is we just get our stuff prepped and we just cook, cook, cook. Then we say, hey, let's tink, okay, let's go. And it's just not fair to you guys. Does that make sense? Like versus us chopping some of the stuff while we're talking to you guys. And so when you guys have questions, I can read it. And then if somebody asks, you just noticed the Los Angeles teacher. Yeah, that's when I went out to LA. Me and my daughter was like a girl's trip. Um, me and my, Thank you so much, Thor. Thor, you're so supportive. I appreciate that. My daughter and my, um, I have a video on it on my shorts. We did a girl's trip, me and my daughter and my niece who comes on here occasionally. We're, we did a girl's trip out there and we had a great time. I tell you guys the story about the accident by the Beverly Hills side. I went to LA. Okay, baby. All right. Um, but I was just explaining to them how we're gonna just take our time and cook you guys tomorrow we are doing all app snacks that are going to be low carb you'll probably eat max four carbs and you're going to have four different four different ones okay all right. i'm done daddy all right we're gonna make uh we're making uh, uh like uh petite pork steaks okay all right so we're gonna cut these babies up as soon as they're coming off Mm -hmm. You good? Yeah. Can I show them one part so while it's cooking I can show them? Yeah, sure. Bring it on. Go ahead, I got meat all over my <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you guys this really quick. So I am going to add just barely to cover the pan. See my, uh, I'm not going to use that. See how much bacon I have in here? I want to just barely cover it. Remember I did this with the meat when I was getting ready to do the pork? Okay, what I'm doing is rendering the fat. I'm, I'm going to basically get the flavor of the bacon into the liquid. So once the bacon is 75% done, then I'm going to throw my asparagus in. And that way, pretty much, they're going to steam with the liquid. 
that is flavored from the bacon. That makes sense? It will eventually cook off, and by that time, it will be crunchy. But first, we're going to get the flavor of the bacon into this liquid, the water. And I'm all done, baby. You can take them. Are you done you know I mean, with the camera? Are you got your gloves? Look at you. Keep the gloves out. Just because, might as well get used to it, because chicken is the worst, of course. I, I would, I would love to have done this with our maple syrup, but unfortunately, maple syrup, almost every syrup, even if I were to use um, a keto-friendly one, they all have a, a high amount of carb. And for, I mean, that's fine if you're not really, but I really wanted to work with what I wanted to give you guys this week. I mean, we really, we, we just wanted to do a lot of our, uh, I'm going to make sausage and gravy in the next week or two. Um, probably next week, uh, it, probably next week, maybe Sunday morning, I'm going to make biscuits and gravy. Oh, well, we're going to show them how to cut. Stuff. We're gonna. That's on Saturday. Oh, that's it's a Saturday. shorter video on Saturday. That's gonna have just different. We're gonna. There's How a couple. To break down onions in different ways. Yeah, and the terminology garlic. of a head of garlic. Now we're gonna. What if you want a stronger flavor? You do the minced. If you, Joe's gonna go over all that stuff. You can take him, Daddy. I'm sorry. Beep, beep. There you go. I'm just hanging. Going slow. All right, we got four little petite. I just cut these up. Four little petite uh, pork steaks. Okay, I just cut them, and we're we're going to uh, just make up our own little uh, uh, what you call it here. I gotta have one clean hand. You mean help you at all? No, yeah, you're fine. I just gotta reach for bottles and stuff, and, and uh, I'm just gonna use. Our fajita seasoning, I use that. Salt, pepper, and garlic, and onion powder, you know, basically is what's in here. Um, you can, oh, we have none left. We're, we're out. <laughs> so now it's just salt, pepper. Now I gotta make my own fajita. Oh, yeah, seasoning. we didn't use it all. Uh, okay, salt cause... and pepper, do we have it? Yeah, right here. Oh, good. Let me get it. Oh, you got it hand free. Yeah. There you go. You gotta put it in a little dish. Uh, no, I'm just gonna salt it. Pepper it as I go. Let's take your meat. Thank you guys for the memberships. Thank you, thank you. I owe you guys some songs. Thank you so much, Sparkle Jackie and Meltdown. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Pepper. So much. Thank you, thank you. And we're, we're using the barbecue sauce. So anything that can go with barbecue, any kind of seasoning, you can put it on here. So I'm just going to... You know, just kind of uh, go with the flow. Hey, Black, welcome in. And, uh... Sorry, baby. No, no, you're fine. Um, just, uh, use whatever, like, uh, seasonings that kind of go in barbecue sauce. You know, pepper, salt, um, onion powder, garlic powder. Um, you can use chili powder, a little bit of chili powder. Uh... Cayenne, you can use, uh, let's see, you can even use cinnamon if you wanted to, cuminos if you wanted to, but you can't use a lot of that, but uh, you can go pretty much any profile you want, but just get every side of your meat, whatever you're cooking, whatever you're barbecuing, all your meat, all of cover it. your meat, okay, and then the rest we can just dab Wait, we have a stuff out, fabulous song guys, all right. Sorry, baby. That's all right. Gotta get my volume salt. up. Just gonna salt everything. Bacon, 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 bacon. Yeah. Bacon, 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 bacon. I gotta say something. Bacon, 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 bacon. bacon. <laughs> there you go. Gotta do it at the end. Bacon. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, a little onion powder. Just gonna sprinkle that on. Oh, please. I'm gonna throw my. Flip it and do the other side as well. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna throw in the spuddy gas, and I'm gonna put my lid on it, guys. Okay. I've got steam going on, cooking my bacon. Okay. Once the water's done, then it will start to. Um, 
uh, blah, 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 start cooking the asparagus. Right now it's already cooking the asparagus, but we really wanted that steam water to be flavored with the bacon. So this right here is helping these get that flavor too. So we're using it before it goes away. Does that make sense? Because it's about to end and we don't want it to leave without blessing us. Oops, sorry guys, you heard that already. Oh, thank you, Mama. Because it's about to end, and we don't... Thank you so much, Kimmy. Thank you. Holy crap, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was thanking you first for being a member for four months, and then I saw the gifted membership. Thank you so much. Oh, you're such a blessing. You're such a blessing. I owe you a song. Okay, calm down, man. Calm down. I love it. It's honestly, I could not have made a better. Get your little tone ready, Joe. Asparagus out, and I'll let the bacon finish cooking. But I, I really want the asparagus, the bacon to get crunchy before I add anything else to it. I just used the fat that was in the on the bacon for its purpose. Basically, I added water to the pan so that way my veggies. my veggies could get the flavoring of it. Now you're just going to finish your bacon. Make I am. Crisp it up. Then I'll finish the next step. I'm going to put this a little bit yeah, lower. Gonna, Go ahead. You can take them oh, back to you. Damn it, dog. You want to take them back with you? Uh-huh. The, 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 uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She knows my uh, gloved hand. Why is she in my kitchen? I don't know. Now, I... out, young lady. Move that. Get up. Okay, so now I'm going to just finish. You probably need this for outside. Nope. No? Nope? You got a fork? Are your tools are outside already? Yeah, I got everything. I got it all. Good. And if it didn't have enough fat, that's why I have my reserve. I'm going to help those babies alone. Crisp up. And I'm going to put some dice. I'm going to put them separate, actually. Can you guys see that? I want you guys to see... See the flavor. See the flavor. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. You're a mess. You know, you're as bad as me. <laughs> and I have just the diced right now. You mean to carry the, uh, are you going to go out there and grill while I'm doing this, right? And I'm going to take it out there once we're. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take them out there. No, not this. Oh, no? Oh, wait, get off. that started. So I can finish this. Otherwise, I'm going to watch this stand over it. Well, i got stuff to say. i got stuff to say. I can take it. I'll take it for you. All right. Let, oh, then so, hold on, then. What? Unless you want to fill them in, but... I'm just filling them in with stuff. What do you... You got, you got them... You need them back? Um, there yeah. There you go. There you go. There, but you're going to take it outside with you, right? Because you want to explain? Whatever. Okay. Why do we not have any girls? Put that fire lower because I don't want to burn. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'll uh, stir it around for you. Yes. Yeah. Hold on. What do you need? Yeah. Alright, guys. So I'm going to put to your heart's content. Mine feels this. Oh, I didn't want to use that spoon. Now i got to take exactly where that one spot was. Even if I don't need that much, I have to take that much because I put that in there. And I don't want to use the same utensil. 
no big deal, but for me it is. I'm just going to finish this with you guys, so then when we go outside, all he's going to do is cook the pork, and I'm going to come in and grab the plates that will have this on it. So we did, if you don't want to do that with your bacon fat, don't worry about it. Do it another way. I just had bacon fat reserved. If you don't, throw a little oil on there. It's okay. Oh, my apron. Why does nobody tell me to put an apron on? Why are we using our new one? That's you need me. Question. Here. I do need you, Daddy. I do need you. Don't go. Hey. Thank you, muchachos. Why does nobody tell me to put an apron on? <laughs> Holy mother, what happened while we were gone? Zena's been a spark plug jack. You guys, cut it out right now. Joe's like, no, 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 don't say cut it out. Zena, with, uh, you have been here for two months. We have, uh, uh, give it, uh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, I was so worried for this one. Hey, how you doing over there? I'm going to throw them in right now. Finish them up? Yep, I'm going to show them right now. But we owe them a song. Come on, Joe. Where are you? Bacon. Sparkle Jackie, thank you, Mama. B bacon. Joe, stop it. You don't even sound like the song. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, bacon it up, baby. You got the sound okay, up? Okay, can you hold it and I'll... You got the sound up? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's why I have you here. The cutest guy ever. Bacon! It's bacon! It's bacon! Oh, since he didn't say it right. <laughs> bacon! Bacon! <laughs> it's bacon! That's good, 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 good. Okay. All right. You keep. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna. Because I'm thinking you're done. A spuddy guys, here I come. All right, everybody. Everywhere. You can throw the bottoms of them if you want in here, you guys. We just wanted to make the asparagus tips. Okay, that's what the recipe I wanted to make. So. Uh, what, let me explain to you why. One whole asparagus is basically a half a carb in one asparagus. One medium-sized asparagus. Two asparagus is basically one carb. Okay? Asparagus tips are 0.1 carbs. One-tenth of a carb in just the tip. So, guess what? The tip. The tip it is, baby. Joe, shut up. <laughs> Get out of here. Arthur, you are not allowed in the kitchen. He did not. Jeez, he's getting the jokes from you. Did she say tip? Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm leaving this with the lid on it, and we're going outside. Joe, go. All right, here we go. Oh, wait. What? Salt Jesus. to taste. Salt to taste, guys. If you don't want any, skip it. But remember, there's bacon in there, and you don't want to regret it. Don't want to regret that. All right. Now, I'm going to, I just put garlic powder on here, too, just on two sides. But when you have, and I'm going to put uh, a little um, cayenne in there. But when you get to the seasonings that are strong, just do them lightly, because you, it can overtake everything, and, you know, it can ruin your, your meal. So I just took a, a very small pinch and did the garlic lightly. Onion powder you can go a little heavier with. It's not as a strong flavor. And uh, now we're just gonna do a, like a, a pinch of cayenne. And that is like just barely on there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put some back there. And then turn them over and do the other side. And it's just, just barely putting some on there just for some flavor. And uh, like I said, if you put too much of that on there, I mean, you can, even the, the 
the most, uh, the guy who loves hot stuff can, you know, it can be too much. You just want it to be enjoyable yeah, for everybody. Yeah, you want it enjoyable for anybody. If they do like hot, you don't want them to... But if you're just for doing it for the first time... You don't want to regret the person. You don't, that, you don't want that guy who says, yeah, I don't mind it being hot. You yeah. don't want him to regret that. Right. Yeah, you can you can ruin it with too much of one thing or another, but salt, pepper, you know, nice and even. Uh, you know how much salt and pepper you like on things, so, you know, just salt and pepper it to your liking, and then onion powder, garlic powder, go light on the garlic powder, and then if you, it's always, you can always add more while you're cooking if you take a, you know, get the, this one that you're, you know, your taster piece. A good griller always has a taster piece going, but, uh, um, take, take your taster piece, taste it, and go, hey, I can use some more garlic powder. You know, it's not going to kill it. So, you know, just taste it as you go, just like when you're cooking in here. You know, it's just one of them things. So I am going to, I'm going to put them in the bowl. Anybody who, just did, to bring who them wasn't outside. here the other day, this is the barbecue sauce we're using. He's going to take it out there in a little dish. But this is the one we're using. It has got two carbs. And the two carbs are in two tablespoons so it you honest to god we tried it it didn't have for me i didn't want an aftertaste no aftertaste in it it tasted phenomenal yeah and i'm not an aftertaste guy with that that stuff either it's, it's okay oh my god thank you guys i don't even know what happened but i what happened <laughs> joe what happened <laughs> got my utensils it happened Thank you, thank you, thank you for the blessing. Thank you, guys. I don't. Berkey, thank you, Mama. Thanks, guys. We got one more song coming. I love that song. I like the guy. I don't know what it is. I don't <laughs> he's, know. He's super cool. I wish I would have drew him. Yeah, <laughs> he's cute. Okay, here we go with the music. <laughs> you gotta go just right. Bacon. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you so much, Kimmy. It's bacon! Joe. <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. B -b 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 bacon. I like that it says bacon. thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's bacon. <laughs> and then right here it says thank you. It's bacon. Thank you, thank you to the maker. One of my mods blessed us by helping us. And then on top of that, thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Berkey. You guys are blessing to my life. You truly are. Um, one of my mods, um, I can't even tell the whole story the way I want to tell it, but one of my mods, I actually have about three mods that doesn't. The name that I, I had, the nickname I have for them is nowhere near their real name. And it's so funny that, like, I'm so used to calling them. And, well, Liz is, look at you guys. The doctor, this was the right side, and this is the left side. If they did both sides at one time, my lungs would completely be shut off. Mm -hmm. So I have to go one week lungs apart are, from them. Lungs are inert. Yeah, everything is, like, it won't keep going out and up and down like that. It will uh. just stop. So he said, if we did both of them in one visit, you would go home in a body bag. And I was like, oh, no, we'll make the second trip. Don't you worry. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go inside. I'm coming. Come on, Mulan. Well, huh? I'm coming. Do you have everything you need, Daddy? Come on. Joe, you're too much, Joe. Oh, Joe, I'm going to punch your eyes. I need some. All right, I guess I'm drinking my this. Hey. This is the blessing you can from my friend. Over, baby, if you need to. If you, got, you got too much to. Can I just take that? All right. Come on. Wait. Steffi, thank you, Steffi. I use it every day. No, right. wait. What? You got this, this on. You got this on, like Zoom? so close up. There we go. Whenever I need something I sweet, I have this crystal. Uh, what's it called? It's like crystal light. There's. Yeah. It's H -E -B brand in crystal a glass light. of it. There's 0 0.1 carb. Kool-Aid. Mm. You got to tell them the story about it. What? What you're gonna make with it? Oh, we're gonna. Uh, we like Dutch Bros. I don't know if anybody knows anything about Dutch Bros. 
but it's like uh, I think they make coffee there too. They make coffee, so you can get coffees there. But it's a drive-through only um, coffee or slushies. And you get slushies or lemonades and stuff like that. And the slushies they have the what do they call them? Power or uh, or uh, rebels. Rebels. They got they use rebel. It's it's like a Red Bull, but it's, it's Rebel is the brand. So you get a Rebel slushie. No, the drink there is called a Rebel. Yeah, they but I think they use Red Bull. Bull. Oh, they all right, Red Bull. Bull. There you go. But they add it with like a slushie. Yeah, like flavor. a flavored slushie, and then the Red Bull in it. Really good. They got different you know combination flavors: raspberry, coconut, and all the combos. Jeez, this is my perfectly squared ice. <laughs> I saw your comment. But then. Uh, I think he's talking about the big cubes, or no, he's talking about the little ones. Yeah, it was my, it was my short. But um, what what we're gonna do is we're going to take that crystal light, put it in them little cubes, make little cubes out of them, and uh, freeze them. Uh, make a bunch of those, and then we're gonna put them in the blender with the Red Bull, and then a uh, sugar-free Red Bull. We'll we'll count the carbs in there, see how many you got. But the sugar-free Red Bull, and then we're gonna blend it up with the. Uh, Look at cheese. It's my ice tray. <laughs> but uh, instead of using ice, we're going to use the, the already made crystal light yep. style stuff. We'll just put and it in the ninja. All the cubes, yep, and then put it in the ninja. And it'll be a and, slush. And we're going to make our slushy with it. So basically, we're having a rebel yeah. with one carb. Yeah. We're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be good. We got stories for you guys for all right. this. All right, open this door. Look at my mom had this. Well, uh, three of them. They weighed over a pound, the three those, of them. And those are uh, homegrown? So sweet. They are man. super sweet. Wow. Way better than store bought. Don't be coming or, or out. Gone. She's already out. There you go, no, she's... You. <laughs> Here you go, babe. I'll hand this down to you. Mama's so shocked you were out here by your own show. She probably wrapped around something. Mm -mm, she is. She's looking beautiful as always. She's wrapped around that. Hi guys, I'm gonna take off my apron. I don't want to have it outside while I'm. Cause I use. Oh, baby, you're stuck. Okay, <laughs> you left it on. Come on, sissy. That's all right. I needed a hot anyway. Come on over here. Come there. Hey, no, but come. Nope, you gotta come out. Oh, over there. Oh, you, no. Look over there. There. Good. No. Good girl. Come. Nope. <laughs> I'm over here this way. Uh, we're trying to get the dog untangled. Just uh, undo well, her she... and I'll grab her. I gotta... There you go. All right, we'll be with you in a moment. Oh, sorry. She's got dog duty. Oh. I mean, <laughs> not dog duty. There you go. There she is. Ah. All right, bring them on over, baby doll. Hey, guys. Let's, uh... Let's go over here. You want a chair over here, baby doll? Yeah. All right. Here we go. We'll go way up, and then so I can point you down. There you go. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Thank you for all of the blessings that we were blessed with tonight. They truly are... They truly have to help us. We really We get a little scared. <laughs> a little scared. How you looking? Looking good. Looking good. Cheese, did you see my eyes? Shaped like a windmill. Uh, you've been to Holland twice. What are you guys talking about Holland for? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about that city? Right. With our, oh, they mean the Netherlands. Sorry, scared me. With our rub that's on there, all we're gonna do first. Uh, well, let's start with the grill first. Let's let's go there. When you get a grill, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of you grillers know this, uh, this kind of stuff. This is what I do. Um, before I, um, after I'm done, I I scrape everything down. But before I start, um, usually I just scrape it down lightly when I'm done with it. But uh, crank all your before you start. Crank all your, your your heat up and let it get super hot, and then go ahead and scrape away with your scraper and your brush, 
and then brush everything and it'll, you know, it toasts everything so it kind of falls off a lot easier when you're cleaning. So that's how I clean my grate for my next, uh, my next uh, project. So do that first. And now for, for these pork steaks with no barbecue sauce on Thank it at all. Sunflower. You're good. We're going to uh, put them on the grill, a hot, hot grill. We're going to put some sear marks on it. We're going to, you know, do a, a sear on it. And then we're going to, like, take maybe the two middle ones, and I'm going to turn those off, and I'm going to keep them there and let them um, kind of indirect cook. All right? I may even get my little lid on there to keep some heat on the top of them. But we'll, we'll see when it comes to it, because if you're doing a big old piece of meat, it's going to take a while, but these uh, we already got these kind of uh, cut into little steaks, little petite steaks. So we're going to just start throwing these babies on. I got this nice and hot. Thank you guys so much for being in here. Thank you guys. Let me go roll call from the top. I know they probably are, may not still be but try me thank you so much for being in here love black thank you always for being a blessing uh t-berry i get so excited when i see your name i don't know what it is i think when i see you in queens and i see t-berry I just, it's, that's almost that's an old gum t-berry is it t and then berry yeah the letter oh, t i think so yeah yeah i no. remember it but i think i like it because i see t as in like a cup of tea oh Sweet yeah, yeah, tea, yeah so i see t I just see your well, name and I see think of that cheese with These me. are going to stick. Shine, wispy, sunflowers, you know, with fire. Welcome in, love. You, you can put some oil on there if you want to, but they're still going to, you know, stick a little. They're going to stick until they get cooked enough to where you can pop them up, all right, where you can lift them up. So, like, if I were to lift this up, it's it's, sticked up, it's stuck on there, trying to stick already. It's already having a hard time pulling up. So I'm just going to let those cook on high. I am um, get some some nice grill marks on going it. to my friend's house and I am going to take her phone from her and she will not be allowed to use her phone the rest of my life. Kimmy, thank you so much, babe. Kimmy, I'm going to you wait. You wait, Kimmy. I've got something in store for you, little lady. You guys, I'm I'm so glad. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Got the bacon song coming? Yes. Oh thank my. you so much. Thank you guys. I I'll add my little my little uh Your touch? My yes, touch. Don't add my your touch. Piece of Nobody wants Joe's touch of anything. Only Joe can do that, maybe. Only Joe. Here we go. Isn't he cute? Bacon. Stop it. There you go, Kimmy. Thank you, my darling Kimmy. You are a blessing, Mama. Okay, back to Joe's boring cook show. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fun. It's fun. We're learning so much. See, these are lifting off there now a little bit. Leave that sticky right on that end, but this side's already able to lift up. That's That's able to lift up. You just got to be patient when you're cooking stuff like uh, meats on a grill like this. They, they do certain things. And sticking is one of them. Chicken especially. You put chicken on here and then you, if you try to flip it around too early, it will, and you got to cook it a little bit, a uh, little bit lower heat. But you can, you can char those up or, uh, you know, kind of at first too. But uh, you got to, you got to wait. You got to play with your fire so you don't burn anything, of course and flip it if you have to but if you're just looking for grill marks right now you know uh high heat let it cook don't try to do it too early or they they'll just stick you know they're, they they just will stick so here's some grill marks for you i'll pick one up see those are starting to get some good grill marks see so just let them cook let them get the grill marks and then we'll uh, we'll give it a flip here in a second. Put that one, that one, that one. 
flip that one. Is this one ready? Not as ready, but that, the we'll rock, that in a hotter I spot. I hit send by accident. Kimmy, that other one's yours. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everybody who's gifted memberships, um, everybody, everybody who's gifted a super chat, a membership, uh, a super chat, and uh, what else is it called? It's called super chat and something else. Uh, super sticker? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, How do you know? I'm going to go get, uh, what was I going to go get? Um, KCG. I need barbecue sauce. What else was I going to get? I was going to get something else. Oh, temperature probe. I like to probe them. You can, like, if you have a taster one, if you if you consider, like, a piece of this as your taster one, that's what I sometimes, I'll if I don't have my uh, temperature probe, and some people don't, you just get it, you just make sure you have a tester, a tester piece, and then you just, uh, when you think it's done, cut it open. Take a look at it. If it's not done, put it back on there. The rest of them aren't going to be done then. You take your thickest, usually your nice thickest piece. Okay. And then you're going to have hot spots around your grill. Found one here, so I moved it out of the way. I put, I put one that uh, wasn't getting as charred in its place. And um, KCG, we did um, make a couple adjustments. I'm not sure if you saw our first live on Monday. I think is when it started. We're just going to be very descriptive with everything we cook, um, whether we're cutting it thin, we're slicing it, we're frying it. Um, we just want to be very descriptive with everything. Um, you're, you're a great, great person as a friend. We've talked on the phone before. Um, but we just, if there's any of my subs that are ever needing anything, and she did not request it. That's the reason I feel um, because closed captioning helps, but we have to be talking. And if we're just standing here chopping or standing here and frying, then the closed captioning is not going to do anything to it. You know what I mean? So, um, and she's just such a great person and a supporter. She's a supporter. She blesses us. She blesses the dogs every time, any chance anything there's ever anything she has always done so much just and when i see her in and any channel or she emails me over christmas everything um just and i should have done this before i and i feel really bad about it but i want to change how we do things going forward we will be very descriptive when we're cooking and i hope that if we are not that's i hope one of the mods can just explain what's on the screen a lot of times that's what um, she'll ask is like what's on the screen so she knows what we're doing so I apologize but also I know you don't she just is so care selfless she doesn't care or wouldn't be an inconvenience to anybody all right now that we've got these uh, seared on basically all sides now I, I've turned one of my uh, burners off I got four on this side I turned one of them off I turned one really low and then I got the two outside one still kind of you know flaming hot so it's just they're gonna kind of just kind of cook slower now. Joe, no time for talking. We got a song coming up. No way. Yes, we do. <laughs> Shut she up. smells all the cooked stuff underneath there. Oh my god, I'm dying so much. Holy I'm smokes. Gonna be in the corner dying over right. here. You're gonna have to go without me. I need uh, temperature. We power. need a bacon, babe. Bacon. I get you, <gasps> babe. What is it? <laughs> something fell or bounced or something. Hold on, y'all. Oh, sorry, guys. I just need to lower this. I can't see up there. I'm, like, trying to hold it two feet up. I think that's supposed to be Joe. Just in time. Uh, all right. Just in time. It's bacon. 
Oh my word. Yeah, Joe's not good on thinking on the fly. I have no idea what you're trying to do. He's like, uh, just in time to take a microphone, to take a camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I didn't even tell you. All right, we're almost done. Medium. Medium on these is about 160. Guys, get your pens and pencils out. Pork. Well, well pork. Pork. Is 160 is medium. And then that's the, the uh, lowest yeah. temperature you can have it when you take it off the grill is 160. Yeah. It is going to continue to cook when you take it off for another three to five degrees, but you cannot take it off at 130, 140. You're going to yeah. kill your people. Exactly. So we're just going to let these cook. Um, even though they're small, you know what? You're hey, Ryan. Now we're cooking them slow. And uh, medium is 160. So that's like kind of your minimum. It'll be kind of uh, nice, nicely pink inside, not too pink, but uh, it'll have the same texture as the whiter meat, but it'll be pink. And then you got 165 is medium well, and then you have um, well is 170 is your is your top your top dog. Shine. So, hey so Ryan. Keep that temperature probe in there since I don't have a taster piece. Um, Why would happen I, to I'm it? I'm gonna have a taster piece, but where is it? It's on. It's on there, but it, nothing's cooked far enough yet. We'll just uh, watch that go, and then we're gonna put our two tablespoons of uh, barbecue sauce. We're just gonna eye it. There's one. There's two. Then we're gonna brush it on with that when it comes time. When it's just about cooked, I'm gonna switch these over to the hot, hot side over here. And if you were uh, if you were cooking a lot more, you just crank everything up and then you know spread them all over the place. Like if I was making a whole bunch of them, I would have put uh, these four burners were the, the the searing side, and then these would be at very low. And then I'd switch them all over to here, and then when I'm ready, then I would crank these up. Or I'd probably keep these on so that they stayed hot, and then I'd move them back over here. Just in your preference. It would just take a little bit more time to just crank these up to get them at the, the searing temperature again, because you want to char your barbecue sauce on there. You're gonna you're gonna put your barbecue sauce on everything, and then you're gonna char it up, let it cook on there, keep twisting them. You know you don't want it to burn because it will burn. Even I think even this stuff will burn. Because it has, you know, some sweetness in there. I don't know what they're using, but um, sugar sugar burns real easy. So you just keep them flipping, and then cook it on there. Do another coat, and then when you're when you're at, uh, just about a, a degree or two off of your temperature, you know, shut it down, and then you can sauce them at the end. All right, and then you just let them set to get up to temperature, and then let that uh, last layer set on there. What they call it, your your barbecue uh, sauce is set when it's cooked a little bit on there. So you're you're uh, putting it on, charring it, you're setting it basically, and then uh, but you're putting some color on it also when you're doing it so hot. And then when you're done, you just keep flipping them, keep flipping them while you're doing the charring. And then when they're done, you just barbecue both sides of them with some sauce, and then just. Uh, let it rest, and then let that set on that hot meat, and it'll set itself. So it'll cling to it, or whatever you want to call it. It'll cling to your to the meat. What are, so, what are those little black bugs? Those are beetles. Uh, um, they're tiny. No, they're just smaller beetle, not beetles. Uh, June bugs. Oh. Those are June bugs. Yeah. Why are they all dead? Uh, it might be him. Oh, he sprays her. We got a, a neighbor who does. Uh, uh, pest control and he, he he kills all our uh, scorpions and ants. Well, let's and... rephrase. Joe gets personally attacked by every red ant in the state of Texas <laughs> every single day on huh, Joe. Yes. They find his feet every time. Well, they hide in the, my cover out here and they, they like to stay under, you know, in nice little crevices, little tight places. All right, we're going to flip these little suckers. Milton, we have an update from our last discussion this morning. 
and um, uh, we have a blessing. <laughs> we have no time. No time. Um, we have an updated information. Oh, you probably read our, our little chat with um, with Berkey. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Uh, just read our, our, our group chat we have with me, you and Bert. And we're dying laughing. Yes, cheese. Yes. Oh yeah, you're a, you're a music guy. I figured it out. He came back. I'm back. I figured it out. What you listening? Oh, I'm just cheese. looking to see where the which way the clouds are moving. Just because that's a little clearer over on that side. But it's pretty. Mm. There's the moon. It's pretty dark out here. We don't get too many. They have a pretty good landscaper that comes out. Oh, I'm sorry, love. That guy works for an exterminator and he comes over and does all of our stuff. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's nice because everybody has. Look at the beautiful sky. We thought it was going to be a lot hotter. That's why we did it so late, you guys, because Texas heat is brutal. Brutal. But I really want to sit out here with you guys while he's cooking. One dog's over there. We don't have to tie her up. It is. She stays by the house. This one, she's a wanderer. Dude, she goes into our neighbor's RVs. Like, if their door's open or whatever, like, she's very friendly. And if they happen to have their door open, she'll walk. Oops, I'm just showing you guys nothing. She'll walk right into their house. Huh, Jay? Oh, yeah. She'll, she steps right in, man. She steps right into their house. And then they're like, oh, Nova. And then they ring their phone. And they're like, Joe's supposed to be out here with them. And he goes, hey, are you guys missing a dog? And Joe's like, no, where? Do you guys have? And it's so funny because Joe's thinking that she's right here with him. Never even saw her leave. Hi, Daddy. Uh -huh. Oh. 156. All right, we um, almost a there. Nice thick piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'll check it. I'll check one or two when we're when we're almost when we're all done with all the barbecue uh, sauce and everything like How that. How many tablespoons here? Two. That's two. Two carbs. Two on carbs. Um, zero or yeah, maybe four, one. Five pieces. Five pieces of uh, meat. So, so we may not even use it all. But. Roughly the the asparagus tops are one tenth. So, I mean, five of them is gonna be a half a carb for Joe. So basically, it was a two carb dinner. We're yeah, just. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to keep it to these two tablespoons. We're we really um, aside from our daughter who wanted the recipe. Uh, she's been she's not really done anything other than. She just started watching and going to the gym and watching what she's doing and eating and going to the gym. So then when she asked for the recipes, I was excited. And I said, hey, if you want us to send you some, we'll do them online. What do you think? And that way she can watch them instead of us writing everything down. And so for that, it's exciting. I mean, this is my 26-year-old daughter who still reaches out to mom and dad and asks us for, asks us for something. Hell, yeah, we're going to do it. We're excited. And, I mean, God knows that we... You know what? Honestly, I don't want any of our subs. Like one, I think Self Little Mama used to come in, and she asked if we could do a plant-based meal, and I wanted to do that. Somebody else said if we could do a vegetarian meal, and we did uh, like one or two of those. I mean, for the most part, we really try to be inclusive. I don't want people. It's almost like going to pizza and somebody asking, "Can you try a burger?" They're like, "Yeah, we'll make a pizza burger or something like that." But I just told Joe, you know, I probably said it about two weeks ago. I said, you know, what do you think about this? And he's like, oh, I don't know. But then after, obviously, Daddy's little girl asked if we could do it. Joe's like, yeah, we could probably do that. So it's it's nice. It's fun. I'm excited. We're but me and Joe both are really trying to stick to it for my daughter. We want to just show her supporting her. She encouraged us, and and we just want to show her. I mean, but that's our only connection with our 26 year old daughter, who's. 3,000 miles away. Shit, I'll take that connection any right. day of the week. I've got them sauced. Now I'm going to put them on the hot. i got a couple of hot ones over here. I'm you got them hot? I'm going to char these and watch them. I know, Queen. I am too. Hey, rapper. Crank 
Yeah. We're just gonna I, char these now. Char, char, char. So do you want me to go inside and get the vegetables? Yep. You're ready. We're just about ready for veggies. Okay. Where you at, Mama? Now, when it's this hot, you know, don't take long for them to, to burn or anything like that. So just keep them moving. You want the char, you know, keep them there for a minute. But you do want to move them. Make sure, just keep an eye on them. Uh, caution, you know, uh, err to the side of caution. If you have any questions, you know, that you're, you're not turning them fast enough or what in, in any step during this, err to the side of caution and you'll, you'll, you'll learn, you know, what you need to do and what you can't do. Okay. So now we're getting a little, little charred action on these babies, which is really nice. That's the, uh, usually it's the sugars in there. I'm sure there's a little bit of sugar. There's sucralose or something in there, but it is charring up nice. So when I am done putting my little char and cooking this barbecue sauce on there and charring it, give it a little uh, nice dark edges on everything, then we will uh, do one last barbecue uh, uh, coating and then just let them sit. I got a little bit left and we're going to use that to finish them off. Normally I'd be uh, barbecuing the you know the Jesus out of these things or uh, putting barbecue sauce on them I should say. But uh, yeah just watch them they can get away from you if you don't want to do that. All right. All right, we're going to finish them off. I'm going to turn this way down. I only got three, two burners going now. I'm going to shut the third one, off, third one off. I got two on low. Then I'm going to just get them over here. The grill is still nice and hot, but I'm going to sauce one side of everything. Get a little fresh sauce on there. And then I'm going to, after this, after I sauce them, I'm going to turn the heat completely off and these things are hot enough to let that barbecue sauce set okay i might use a half another half a little bit okay another half a teaspoon y'all don't tell the missus and flip them over flip and flip and sauce the other side I'm letting the other side cook on a little bit lower heat, so it will set. And if you want, you can always have, uh, you know, some barbecue sauce for a dipping on the side. Get yourself a little cup full of it. And I'm going to use all that I can on here. All right, there's our barbecue sauce. We are done with that. I'm gonna turn these off and then I'm going to actually, since the other side's been cooking a little bit on the lower heat, I'm gonna flip them one more time and let the other side get some residual heat. So I'm just gonna roll these babies. Grill still. Got some cooking, some smoking well? hot uh, grills. Um, Good night, Good night. So now that's just gonna hey, set, that, uh, yep. set that barbecue sauce. All the girls, so Come here, girls. Yeah, I got you. And I'm just gonna probe our thick one and just make sure that everything's copacetic. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Can we take two off so we can tink? Yeah. So these don't get cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check the Okay. What are you guys doing? Running back and forth? I'm gonna take the meat and we can put it over there.
Chair adjusted. Bailey, get back. Bailey and Alva, stop it, please. You gotta chill out, you guys. You guys all right, let's take guys. Everybody get their. Oh, the iPad, but it's okay. Uh, you want the iPad? I'll do it, baby. You just said yeah. no. Yeah. Hey, uh. Uh, little, little tinking action going let's on. Let's tink, everybody. Get your forks up. Hey, it's time, y'all. Let's sink with your stuff first. All right, let's take a picture. Hold up the plates up there because that's where I get my photo from. Asparagus with, there you go. Asparagus tips and uh, grilled. Petite, grilled, uh, pork. grilled petite pork steaks. pork steaks. All right. There you go. Put yours up there on the little side. You get you off. There you go. There we go. All right. There you go. Let's cut in. Ooh, your meat's tender. Yeah, I like good. that. And if you guys wanted more barbecue sauce, you can put more barbecue. Tink. Tink. Oh, little tink too. Tink. 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 Beauty. It's soft. A oh, bone. <laughs> <laughs> Just chew it. Go for the camera. Hmm. Ooh, little cayenne and hey, Bailey and Nova, go now. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Off away from the table. Away from the table. Yeah, barbecue sauce isn't bad. I don't think it tastes bad at all. Mm -hmm. Asparagus oh. sips. Mm -hmm. Ready, guys? With bacon. Uh -huh. mm. Asparagus tips. Oh, sorry. A little my bacon. Tink. Tink. Mm. Oh man. My bacon, onion, garlic is just. Mm. One tablespoon of garlic. That's so good. Oh, yeah. A quarter cup of a spare, uh, a quarter cup of onion, and I would say. Tink. 18 tips of your asparagus. You can do your whole asparagus, just get it and chop it into little pieces. Like here's your asparagus, take the bottom off, go about two inches up. And you have the whole rest of it from mm. the top. Then just clip every two inches, and they'll be all the same size as your tops. Still crunchy. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, you guys, get the heck out of here. I love you. It's been almost an hour. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you for the blessing from everybody tonight. You guys have absolutely Thanks. been... <laughs> you guys have literally... I feel like... I feel like I want to just say things with you guys and I just don't want them misinterpreted, but just know that you guys have been a blessing to us. Um, everybody knows we're going, we're trying to head back up to Michigan. It's like, why do I bring him out in public? And then I realized we stayed home. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts these are very crucial times for us we want to get back to michigan very 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 soon and um i just for us we are trying very very hard to get there so if anybody everybody just take that the right way it's not meant i'm not trying to guilt anybody i'm just telling you why it meant so much to us tonight yeah. thank you for all the blessings that you did for us tonight I don't want that to be interpreted as anything other than gratitude. It truly is gratitude that you guys considered and you guys blessed us tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have a blessed night. Look at our dog back there. Think she's hiding. Tell look in the camera. <laughs> I love you guys. Be blessed, everybody, every single one of you guys. 
Thank you so much, Spark Plug. For Wispy, you guys are a blessing. Thank you. Absolutely. Aw. And this, thank you for swinging in and saying hello to us. You stay driving carefully, love. We, we just want the safety for you, love. That's all that matters. Thank you, guys. Thank you for always thanking us. You guys are so... I have the best subs. You guys are always thanking us for sharing our recipes or sharing our time. Thank you guys for being such forgiving subs, friends. I consider you guys friends. It feels weird to say subs. So thank you for being such amazing people. All right. Be blessed. Be Joe blessed. and his food. <laughs> That's oh, good. This man. It's got the crunch on there from the char. It's, just, it's really nice. You got the yeah, is it good? texture of the meat. It's very tender. Very good. And then the outside has got that mm. little edges of, mm -hmm. of crust on the... Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. What is the temperature? It's still 77 degrees uh, out here. That's hot for me. It's really nice. I like really. being in Michigan where it's 63. Inside our house is set at 65. I love it. Okay, bye, guys. I love you. Hit the X. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> I love you guys. Wait. What? She said wait. Oh, it's a 79. Look at that. 79 degrees right now. It's hot. But I, it, you don't get the whole full feeling of it's a barbecue if we're inside. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I love you all. I just want to make sure my mods weren't saying anything. Uh, Bacon, I must have a missed chapter. Sub for giving y'all. <laughs> I love you, Ann. You're a blessing, love. Hit that like button on your way out, everybody. Heck thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Share it if you can. Our Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, and our Zelle are all in there. If you can, thank you. If you're not able to do it, that's okay. Just hit the like. It's like blessing us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And prayers to Ange for safe traveling in Jesus name. See you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joe, you're too much. <laughs>